Hello and welcome to Module 1's explanation video. The purpose of this video is to sh kind of show you through Module 1. Okay, and as you can see, I'm already logged into Blackboard. I simply would like to scroll down. My first video, we did start here. We did course information, meet your instructor. Now we're ready for the actual assignments. The assignments can be found where it says learning modules. Now, when I click learning modules, um, 15 modules will show up. That's because we have 15 modules throughout the whole semester. I only want to look at module one. So I want to click and as you can see when I click back and forth quite a few assignments will pop up as you can see okay so just kind of pay attention as you keep scrolling we don't want to mess with module 2 right now or a matter of fact I think I may just hide those modules to help you out for now until we get at least to maybe module 3 Excuse me. Okay, so LIT, um, Blackboard Ultra, walkthrough videos. You're going to click that link. I showed you that in the first uh, video. You're going to click this link. And this link will... Well, this link is supposed to take you to the video. I guess it's not, but fret not, that will be working by the time you view this video. Okay, so you'll be able to watch that walkthrough video. And after you're done watching the video, let's go back to learning modules, click back on module one. You will then do the confirmation of viewing this video. This will be like a little, just a little quiz. I'll go ahead and click on it so you can see. I have something obstructing my view. You can view the assessment. Yeah, it's one question. But it's just a little easy assignment, okay? But the point is to make sure you watch the video. That's the point of it. Okay, then um, you'll have a Dory to-do list. I think I'm going to email you this to-do list because this, this is really thorough. Bef do before, well, this says Sunday, but it'll actually be Monday, okay? Read the syllabus, addendum, and schedule. You will, you will do this next, this week. Read the start here, course information. I walked you through this in the video. Read everything. Listen to all the videos in Module 1. We're in Module 1 right now. Due Monday night, January the 23rd. The confirmation of viewing the Blackboard video. Smiling Faces assignment. Class introduction. Discussion board. Uh, introduction PowerPoint. That's the same thing. Syllabus quiz and the knowledge check okay we're gonna look at all that and i really 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 want you to read all of this information on your own i don't want to go through it with you then learning module one explained you're gonna read the objectives okay again the assignments that you need to complete in this module a lot of this stuff is repetitive that's to help you um <laughs> more instructions week one instructions we just tell you to work the module so from top to bottom click on all the videos watch them click on all the links click on all the readings read those okay so that now gets us to uh, chapter one I'm sorry chapter one exploring college this is chapter one exploring college um, I'm gonna take this little video out of here and you're just gonna scroll right here and just uh, 
each chapter will have a set of PowerPoint slides, but you can also click the link to access the book itself. Here's the textbook, College Success. And you can download a PDF copy if you want to, but we don't want to do that. So let's look at the table of contents, chapter one. You can go through, you can read that on your own. For the video purposes, I do want to kind of open the PowerPoint up right quick and just look at a few slides with you. College success. This is getting you familiar with college. Why college? What your first year will be like. I just want to look at a few of these slides. Um, you can read that while you're in college. The reasons for you being here. You can in turn answer that and one reason I would think that we're all here is because college graduate graduates I'm, I'm sorry were more likely to experience the following greater job satisfaction better job stability improved health and wellness and better outcomes now these things aren't guaranteed but we feel like with that college degree you're more than likely to experience these outcomes uh, what are the rewards and values of a college degree? You can, hopefully, we can help you to become a, cr a critical thinker, a problem solver. These are what employees look for. Uh, help you better communicate orally and written wise. Um, help you to develop your teamwork and collaboration skills. So, those classes that ask you to work with a group don't get mad because employers want want people that can work with teams and people that can collaborate together and I always like to say two heads three heads are always better than one I can feed off you you can feed off me we can bounce ideas around well I, what I didn't think of you would probably think of it and that's just gonna help us all um, digital technology um, you, you you have to become familiar with uh, typing skills word processor skills that's Microsoft Office Word you need to know how to put together presentations which is what you will do in this module also leadership skills hopefully we can develop that in you professionalism work ethic career management um, and a global slash intercultural fluency okay when you're in college you will meet some of everybody from all walks of life okay the point is for you to not reject them but to embrace the differences that's a part of the college experience um, and you can look at this and answer this to yourself in what ways will earn in a college degree be valuable to you now and in the future okay let's see what else I would like to look at and, and this is good this, this is going to be uh, the adjustments that you'll have to get used to academic adjustments you will most likely be faced with increased demands of learning in college and guys increase demands on your time okay so you're gonna have to learn how to manage your time which is why uh, this course asks you to will ask you to to, to create a, um, a planner because we want you to manage your time wisely because being in school you don't have less time especially if you have a family children full-time job you have to make time for this okay college has its own language and customs that you will need to get used to this chart tells you the differences between high school college and um, the difference I'm sorry the differences between high school and college I want you to read this though 
grades. Grades are different in college versus high school. The learning is different. Uh, in college, learning happens mostly outside of the class and mostly on your own. Faculty are responsible for assign, assigned materials and covering the most essential ideas. You are responsible for tracking and monitoring your own learning progress. Okay. And what I would like you to do is to finish going through this PowerPoint and all of the other PowerPoints on your own, okay? And also scan through, read chapter one. Now, after you finish reading, there will be a knowledge check. This is like a little uh, quiz based off of what you've read, okay? Each time you open an assignment, I also want you to pay attention to if the assignment is a, a major grade or a daily grade. Okay, you can do all these daily grades if you want to and skip two or three major grades and receive zeros on those. That's going to kill your grades, guys. So, um, you, you need to make sure that you do all of the major grade assignments and daily grades. Okay. Let's see. Let's move on. I'm trying to keep this video to 15 minutes. You're going to have to create an power introduction PowerPoint. I did one for you of myself to give you an idea of what it is I'm looking for. Okay. You can look at that. And then um, this is where you will uh, turn it in in a discussion post. You'll respond right here. You'll attach it using the uh, paper clip. Okay, you're gonna put it together using Microsoft using PowerPoint. I do have a how-to video on how to use PowerPoint. I need to go ahead and post it also. So then there's the syllabus quiz. Remember, you read the syllabus up in course information. You read that in course information. And down here in module one, I'm sorry, I passed it up. Module one, we have a quiz over it. Smiling faces assignment. What's this? We simply want you to um, get your student ID and take a picture of you holding it. That's, that's all. Get your student ID and take a picture of you holding it. If you hadn't, if you don't have a chance. Because LI, I think all of that closes at maybe 5, 530. Um, you can use your Texas driver's license or Texas ID. Just cover the important information up as you hold it up. Take your cell phone or your webcam and just take a little selfie holding it and submit it. Right here was his smiling faces. Um, planners, you will be asked to create planners. You'll turn in like five planners at a time in module five but you have to have a planner for each module okay um, this video will ex help will explain to you how to do the planners and this little link right here is uh, gives you a paper planner that you can use or either you can use a planner on your phone just take a picture of it upload it we just need to see where you're planning out assignments hey Monday at three o'clock I'm gonna read chapter one uh, seven o'clock I'm gonna do uh, my smiling faces assignment 730 I'm gonna do my PowerPoint I, we need to see every assignment and the time that you plan to work on it okay um, everything else in this module is basically links that we want you to open read okay for the most part, just make sure you turn in everything that's due for this module, guys, okay? Remember, uh, click that arrow. You just click Learning Module. Module 1 will pop up, and all of this assignments will drop down, and you'll see those assignments that are very important. Okay, remember, guys, contact me if you need me. Um, check your email and all of that good stuff. Good stuff. You will hear from me in another video. Take care.